It's like literal garbage. Does it say vibes on it? That's really <laughs> funny. This isn't good. I know I have bowlers here. All right, well, welcome to the reality of costume buying. <laughs> God damn it. Hello, YouTube. Jacqueline here again. Today I'm gonna be going around with Crystal Precious. We're gonna see a day in her life as a costume buyer. Very exciting day ahead of us. Oh yeah, this is necessary. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get that coffee, girl. Dealing with the outside world is always a challenge, especially on Monday morning. Everyone's yes. like, mm, I hate you. First off, I'm not really conventional costume buyer. From what I understand, conventional costume buyers are run off their feet all day long. Today is actually a pretty chill day. Just checked in with the costume department to see what they needed. I have a little list. We'll go over it, make a plan, and then we shall depart. What's the dealio today? So basically the first thing I do is just check in with my costume peeps. We are doing a big mask challenge this week. Okay. Uh, where all three of us are making masks that are sort of anachronistic. They're of a character, but in a different era than the character is generally Ooh. found in. We've been giving ourselves like a $50 limit. So Chris has most of his stuff. Jesse needs some airbrush paint and a bowler hat. I need a bunch of shit. The first step that we're gonna do is go down to our fabric. I'm making Davy Jones, which is the guy with the octopus face from Pirates of the Caribbean, but I'm gonna make him as a candy raver. <laughs> we are going into the fabric room. Welcome <laughs> to a room of stuff. There's a bunch of costumes in here, sock costumes, as well wow. as a bunch of fabric from past lives. I have a bin of stuff from Rave Town from when I used to, well, I still rave, but like from when I used to be a cat, like not a candy raver, but a pastel raver. Back in 2009. <laughs> Can you um, explain what a candy raver is for people who don't know? Okay, so a candy raver is like, it's basically the archetype of early rave days where you'd wear a ton of like beaded bracelets and bright colors. And then the idea is that it's an identification a means of identification so you can see other people who are really into usually music that I consider to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then they trade bracelets and everybody loves each other. Like that's sort of one of the palettes that we could go with. Ooh. Ooh. This is actually good. Oh my God, my old long walk shirt. This might be useful. Oh. Oh, this is good. good. Okay. Electric green. So much stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff. Basically being a costume person means that you're just dealing with stuff all day long. And I used to think that <laughs> I was gonna try to minimize the amount of stuff in my life. And now this job has taught me that you actually just have to be really fucking organized with it. Oh, I forgot about this fabric. Mm. Ooh, that's really funny. So that's in case I find some pastel stuff. This is also funny. This is actually kind of cool though. I kind of maybe want to keep that. Does it say vibes on it? That's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Testing the feels. <laughs> so we need beads. I need a ton of ribbon. I need tin foil. I need a bowler hat. So let's, uh, why don't we go to a costume store? All right, hopping then into the car. I guess we could go to, let's see, I know that there's a bunch of Halloween costume places that kind of pop up, so we'll see if there's one near the art supply store. Let's go to Party City. I love Party, Party City. City. I didn't even realize that Party City was like a cheap costume place until I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race, and then they're like, <laughs> go back to Party City, and I was like, ooh. Party I thought they City. Were, I thought he was talking about Philadelphia. Get in the gas. gross makeup that you won't be able to get off of yourself. Although, if you do use cheap makeup and you want to get it off, shaving cream will work. Oh, good tip. The thing that I love the most about Party City is that everything's organized by color. Hmm. It's kind of ravey. Is this a shirt? Oh my God. Oh, it's like a plastic Harley shirt. It's like literal garbage. We have top hats, oops, fanny pack. Fake fedoras, but I need a bowler is what I need. I see one. This isn't good. I don't have bowlers here. Damn it. All right, well, welcome to the reality of costume buying. <laughs> God damn it. There's some fun beads. For like my candy river moment. How much are these? 
49 cents, great. This is actually would be good to wrap stuff in. We need a bandana for across his head. Oh, I like these. Boing. Do you think these would be good as little bows? I still don't see a bowler though. Do you guys have a bowler hat? Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> I, I feel like I need that in my life. I know, this one. <gasps> Look at this. You can just be a rainbow. Oh my God. Why would you not want to be a rainbow all the time? Oh my God. Is that a hot dog? <laughs> it's a hot dog hat. This is a burger. I know, I just saw that, this hamburger one. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to go to a, hello, a cheap, crappy Halloween store. Four, I don't even oh understand. My god. <laughs> it's more like a baby shower or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever the damage is here. It's, stop it. This, <laughs> this is my fucking, these are the hangers. These, just don't look at this stuff. This is pretty great. Oh my God, that pizza costume. Pretty much represents what I am already. So. <laughs> no They're bowlers. like top hat. Nine, please place your bag in the bagging area. I'm basically in touch with Ash all day long because doing returns isn't really a thing. So you always have to make sure to like, make sure to get the right stuff. Cause we don't have time to go back. Very organized. Shoots of this. I feel like these colors will probably work. They're 50 cents each, so it's not the end of the world if, mm -hmm. it doesn't, if they don't. To wrap around, and the letters, we get this color. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That makes more sense. Last, Last stop. stop. We finally found a bowler hat. Think F. <laughs> uh, there we go. Woohoo! Okay, now we need some airbrush paints. Every time I come into one of these stores, I'm like, I'm gonna do this project. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do any of those projects. Look at this. They have neon pipe cleaners. Those ones are four dollars, though. Where's my list? Okay. Ash wanted wet erase markers. Apparently, there's wet erase markers. Right, so that was what, a five hour trip? Five hours, not so bad, we got everything on the list. I did dig deep for the bowler hat, but we got it. Where is it? As usual, my car is full of stuff. Sorry about it, boyfriend. It was a pretty good day, like we made what, like 10 stops in five hours? <laughs> yeah. Something like that, yeah. bombed around the city. It's mostly driving and listening to fabulous music. Now I'm gonna go in and count receipts and hopefully put together this mask. I will let you know when it's finished. <laughs> Raver mask. Davy Jones. I'm gonna call him Ravy Jones. I love it. Ravy Jones. Thanks for coming with me. So it's a few days later now and CP is done with the mask and she's gonna reveal it to me so I'm gonna see it, see it for the first time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. So exciting. <laughs> Come on, oh my god. It looks so good. Dude, it's so crazy. Oh my god, can you even see out of that? <laughs>